Atherothrombosis is the major underlying cause of ischemic events in peripheral arteries, coronary arteries, and cerebral arteries. Within these vessels, some of the most important components of blood are erythrocytes, white blood cells, and platelets. Lipid accumulation, macrophage activation, and migration of smooth muscle cells into the intima are fundamental to the development of atherosclerotic plaques which lead to atherothrombosis. It's a complex and long-term process with many different factors involved. Plaque disruption, either by a rupture or by erosion, results in platelet activation and the formation of a platelet-rich thrombus on the disrupted atherosclerotic plaque. An occlusive thrombus will lead to an acute ischemic syndrome, possibly leading to permanent tissue necrosis. A non-occlusive thrombus may lead to temporary ischemia, however the thrombus will resolve and can contribute to further plaque growth. Microemboli of platelet aggregates may form on an evolving thrombus. Release of microemboli leads to microvascular obstruction in the peripheral arteries, coronary arteries, or cerebral arteries, which may result in cardiac insufficiency or vascular dementia. The risk of plaque disruption is unpredictable and remains a long-term risk. Surface receptors important in platelet activation include ADP receptors, glycoprotein 2B, 3A receptors, and thromboxane receptors. Clopidogrel inhibits the bonding of ADP to its platelet receptor, blocking the subsequent ADP-mediated activation of the GP2B3A complex. This decreases the bonding of fibrinogen and other adhesion molecules, the final step in platelet aggregation. Clopidogrel also inhibits platelet aggregation induced by other agonists by blocking ADP amplification of platelet activation. In contrast, Acetylsalicylic acid, or ASA, acts upon the cyclooxygenase COX enzyme, which, when inhibited, disrupts the formation of thromboxane A2 by the platelets and prevents the release of platelet-activating ADP. Therefore, the combination of clopidogrel and ASA provides two distinct mechanisms of action for increased platelet inhibition. Such dual antiplatelet therapy reduces the likelihood of potentially lethal thrombus formation. The global availability of clopidogrel provides physicians with an effective therapy in addition to standard therapy, such as ASA, that can further reduce the long-term risk of future heart attacks, strokes, or cardiovascular death.